as I develop new content for Raven Snow Productions here. Some of the stuff is still slowly in development. I decided to start up a little quick thing here in terms of quick movie reviews of films I recently fully reviewed in a written form on Fervicent Blog. And the first one we're checking out today, which you'll notice by the title, is Dread. Now, I didn't see this film in theaters. Uh, I heard great things about when it was, but summer movie season was not all that good. It was very sucky. And by the time September rolled around, I just didn't want to step foot in a the theater for quite a while. But thankfully, home video gave me the opportunity to check this out at, at a red box for about a dollar and change. And I rented it, I watched it, and I loved the living hell out of this movie. I have no negative critiques to levy against the whole thing. Dread is an absolutely fantastic, hard edge, hard R action movie. The film follows Dread, Judge Dread, portrayed by Carl Urban, who I think is a fantastic actor. He's done a lot of great stuff in Lord of the Rings, Born Supremacy, Chronicles of Riddick that I've all loved. And I think he nails this character perfectly. Just awesome. It was like the, he, he, was, he was made to do this kind of a role, just this hard assed brutal, cold, calculating, methodical guy, confident, but not too confident guy, he's very calculating, he's really, he, he, he has a contingency for almost any scenario. If he doesn't have a plan, he's coming up with a plan. And basically the, the plot of the film is that uh, in this post-apocalyptic world, the law is run by these judges in Mega City 1, and Dredd is one of the top judges of the, of the force. And at this time, there is a drug, a very stimulating drug, circling throughout the city called Slow Mo. And uh, basically, it'll, it allows the user to perceive life proceeding at 1% of its normal speed, which creates a very, very fantastic effect in the film. Uh, it's ex it's not, just, not just because it's in this ultra slow motion, but it's just the, the beautiful cinematography that's used and the little computer generated enhancements that just cr just really immerse you in this uh, sensation that these characters are in enveloping themselves in and everything. And so Dredd, he's teamed up with this sort of rookie judge and everything that's sort of on an evaluation, one day evaluation type of thing. They want Dredd to put her in what, what they say is the deep end of the job, but one of the greatest lines that I think is in the film is that Dredd says, it's all deep end. It's really fantastic. And uh, and what they end up doing is uh, checking out a homicide by at this uh, sort of tenement housing complex. They end up getting locked down inside the complex by the big bad of the film, a drug lord called Mama, uh, portrayed by uh, Lena Hetty. From, uh, if you know her from, I know her from the Terminator Sarah Connor Chronicles television series, which I had the full series of. I think she was fantastic in that show as Sarah Connor. And uh, so they get locked down the complex and they have to fight their way through. And it, it's a great, great action film. Uh, like I said, cinematography is just absolutely gorgeous beyond just the slow mo sequences. That's the only time the slow mo is used. I was, it's just during those drug enhanced moments, but even then, Sometimes it coincides with an action scene, so you get people shot in the face in extreme slow motion. It just looks more amazing than anything that you've seen in an action film in an extremely long time. And again, Carl Orban's fantastic in the film. I think it's wonderfully directed. Very, it's it's. I think it's. I think it's smartly written. I think it's very smartly written. It's a film that's not trying to be anything more than it can be. It. It's amazing that this thing was made around about well, like a $45 million budget because it looks as polished and as big budget as anything else that you see out there. But it's, but it's a film that you see every dollar on the screen. Nothing's wasted. Sets, locations, everything just looks fantastic. It's a film that's filled with nothing but great performances all around. And I highly, highly, highly recommend Dread because it's sitting right here in front of me again <laughs> so I keep looking down but I got it on DVD obviously I think it's a great action film hard R rated film 
it takes you back. If you love, love like hard art rates that are from the 80s and 90s, this just goes way out. It just goes fully full on with it all. I think it's a fantastically done film. Uh, great, like I say, great performances all around. The score is fantastic. I would highly, I would love checking out that score. It's got a great sort of ambient techno, but also slightly rock thing going on that just really, really works for the vibe of the film. And I think Dread is one that you got to check out if you haven't checked it out already. For the full review, hit check the description below. You'll be able to link right to the Forever Cinematic Review of Dread. And I hope you keep checking these out. Later.